السلام علیکم ایڈوانسڈ رمضان مبارک ٹو آل مائی ویورس ان ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو شوئنگ یو آل تھری اسنیک ریسیپیز دیٹس ٹریڈیشنلی پریپیئرڈ ڈو ایڈ دس ان ٹو یور مینیو آن دس رمضان لیٹ اسٹارٹ فسٹ آف آل شوئنگ یو آل اے ٹریڈیشنل اسنیک پریپیئرڈ ان دا مالابار ریجن ان کیرلا دس از ٹفڈ پلانٹینس وتھ کاکنٹ شوگر اینڈ نٹس وی کال اٹ انکائی ایز اے نیم ڈیرائیو فرام دا شیپ اٹس اے اسپنڈل شیپ The stuffings differ in some regions. This is made during iftars, weddings and other festivals. Let me show you how I made it. Take four medium-sized plantains. It shouldn't be too ripe or else it won't keep its shape and moreover while frying it may suck up a lot of oil. So make sure it's on the perfect ripeness. Steam for around 15 minutes or till very soft. Meanwhile, chopping a handful of cashews. Into a kadai, heat 2 to 3 tablespoons of ghee. Roast the chopped cashews first and when it turns to a light brown color, add the raisins. Now to this add 1 cup grated coconut. In some parts they scramble an egg to this. I'm not adding it now. Then goes half to 3/4 teaspoon of cardamom powder and mix well for a few minutes. Take it off and transfer to another bowl. To this add 1 or 2 tablespoons of sugar. You can add more for extra sweetness and mix well. By this time the plantains are cooked, so taking it off. Remove the skin while still warm, but be careful not to burn yourself. You can add this to a blender. Here I'm just using a fork to mash it up. Now do all the plain dates the same way. Then make lemon size balls and keep it ready. I had shown this in my dinner vlog. Onto a roti flatener, add some ghee and spread on both sides. Take a ball, lightly press with your hands and keep on the roti flatener. flatten it with light pressure let it be little thick now fill in the coconut mixture and close it make it to this shape this is not the traditional method they don't use the roti flattener it's done with hands just trying out an easy way Now frying in coconut oil. The snack doesn't suck up much oil if the right plain dates are used. So I'm adding little oil just to not waste much. Keep rolling so that it's even in color. Fry all the unnakais the same way. With this recipe I had made 9 unakais and you can see there are still oil left after frying. So with hot cup of tea. When the unakais are made in the traditional way the outer part would be thick and stuffing would be less. Since here I have used the roti flattener the covering is thin and stuffing is more. Either way tastes really good. Do try this out. Next making chimmin patri as we call it it's prawns masala in rice pockets this can be served as a snack during iftar or it can be served during the main meal let's see how to make it 
take one cup rice. Here I've used the normal rice that's used for cooking for lunch. You can take bunny rice, red rice, or any other kind of rice. You can also choose basmati rice for this, but that isn't the authentic one used here. Wash and drain the rice. Then soak it for at least six to eight hours. I had soaked this in the morning and used it during the evening for preparing the snack. Then take half kilo prawns, clean it, and here I'm just cutting one into two pieces as it was very large. To this, add two teaspoons Kashmiri red chilli powder, one teaspoon turmeric powder, and one teaspoon salt, and marinate for a few minutes. For making the masala, take one onion, four garlic cloves, one inch piece ginger, three green chilies, one tomato, and a handful of coriander leaves. Slice the onion. Grind ginger, garlic and green chilies together. Chop the tomato removing the seeds and chop the coriander leaves. Into an iron kadai, add 2 to 3 tablespoons of coconut oil. Shallow fry the prawns. After taking it out, into the same kadai, add 2 tablespoons of coconut oil again. Add ginger, garlic and green chilli paste first and saute till the raw smell has gone. Then adding sliced onion. Add some salt. Just adding a glug of water. Once onion is well sauteed, add the chopped tomato and cook till soft. To this adding 1.5 teaspoon of Kashmiri chilli powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder and quarter teaspoon of fennel seed powder. Mix everything for a minute. Then adding quarter cup of water and mix everything well. Just chopping the prawns into much smaller pieces using a kitchen scissors. Add it into the masala along with the chopped coriander leaves. Mix well. Now the masala is ready. The rice is well soaked now. Into a mixer grinder, add the rice and add half cup shredded coconut. To this add 4 to 5 shallots, 1 teaspoon fennel seeds and 1 teaspoon cumin seeds. Just giving it a crush. Then add water little at a time and grind to a fine paste. Now add this to a bowl. Take half cup rice flour and add this to the mixture a little at a time. Make it to a consistency that you can form a wet ball. You can adjust the rice flour more or less but here half cup was perfect for me. Add salt and mix. Here I've used banana leaf. If you don't have it, you can use aluminium foil or any baking paper as well. The banana leaf gives a good flavor to the dish. Adding a drop of coconut oil. Take a handful of dough and make a ball. And spread it onto the leaf, making it a roti shape. Spread some prawns masala onto it evenly. Make another roti the same way onto another leaf. And cover the prawns masala. Now take that leaf out and lock the sides.
cover it again with the leaf and steam for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, make the rest and steam. The dish is ready to serve. Now next is another traditional snack usually prepared with rice flour and with a sweet stuffing but here I am making it with whole wheat. Let's see how to make it. Here I have taken 1 cup whole wheat. Wash well and drain. Then soak it for at least 6 to 8 hours. After well soaked, take a strong blender or a mixer grinder and grind without adding any water. If you can grind in one go, do it so. I have done in parts. There can be chunks of whole wheat, needn't be a fine paste. This has a really sticky texture. Add it to another bowl and keep it ready. Now for the stuffing, add 1 cup shredded coconut into a mixing bowl. Here I have melted jaggery in very less water to make a thick consistency. Adding quarter to half cup to the coconut, you can add more or less according to your taste buds. Now this is flattened rice, washed and drained. Adding 1 cup to the bowl and mix well. Then goes half teaspoon of cardamom powder and mix again. Now add some salt to the whole wheat paste and mix. Now let's prepare the snack. It's the same way as of the prawn rice stuffing. Spreading a drop of coconut oil onto the banana leaf or aluminium foil if you don't have the leaf. Take a handful of the dough, make sure you have some oil on your hand otherwise it will be very sticky and you won't be able to spread well onto the banana leaf. Add the coconut mix onto this. Cover just like a half moon. Steam for 10 to 15 minutes. Similarly, prepare the rest and keep ready for steaming. Now this is ready. Steam the rest. Do not overlap while steaming more than one at a time. If you wish to have a crunch in the filling, you can add some chopped cashews or almonds, but the plain version itself is yum. So do try these recipes friends and would love to hear your feedback. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. See you soon with another video. Until then, stay blessed, take care and bye bye.